Betsy Devos just launched a probe into Yale University over the absolute dumbest complaint. Yale University was just saddled with a major ethics complaint alleging discriminatory acceptance practices against, wait for it, men. That's right, men are apparently getting the short stick when they pine to join the whiff and poofs and of course, the Betsy Devos lead education department is all over it. Inside Higher Ed had the esteemed pleasure of reporting that the probe had launched last month after a student not affiliated with the university, translation, not accepted, filed a Title IX complaint. The suit brought forth by Kurzat Christoph Pekas, a doctoral student at the University of Southern California, claims that women are no longer a minority in higher education and so, Yale's programs which specifically benefit women violate gender discrimination laws. Quick reminder, gender discrimination laws were passed as a result of the suffragette movement to change the public perception of women as property too, and this will be hard for some Republicans to grasp, women as people. Pekas specifically cites a study indicating 56% of college students last fall were women in his lawsuit, though the ratio of men to women at Yale where he has raised the complaint is 51% to 49%, respectively. A Yale spokesman told the site that it is committed to non-discrimination on the basis of sex in all its programs. According to Inside Higher Ed, other news outlets have identified Pekas as a once-feminist who soured on the concept. That arguably explains this brilliant quote from his email to the publication, Women are an ever-increasing majority in colleges. Male students are far more likely to drop out. Also, Younger men are making less money than women despite working in more hazardous jobs. That statement is at least partially inaccurate, considering a 2016 report from the Census Bureau showed that median income for young women is $11,000 less than that for young men. Considering the reports that the shooter from Friday's massacre in Santa Fe, Texas indicated the attack was partially driven by the shooter's hatred toward women who had previously spurned his advances, it's maddening that the Department of Education would waste tax money on an investigation aimed at ending affirmative action for women, as Pekas put it. His clear lack of respect for a roughly half the population who have yet to celebrate 100 years of being legally able to vote puts him in the same category as the shooter, even if Pekas' tendencies aren't deadly. Even more maddening is his incredibly ironic use of Title IX to file this claim. Title IX generally focuses on institutions' handling of sexual assault cases or cases involving campus athletics. Typically, colleges or universities which violate Title IX risk losing federal funding, very much a non-issue for the financially bloated private school. It's also uncommon to actually impose that penalty. Still, that the Department of Education was willing to take up a Title IX claim after out-of-touch Secretary of Education Betsy DeVos rolled back Obama-era protections added to expand protections under the civil rights law is an insult to every person who can no longer utilize Title IX to the fullest extent. Instead, another angry American male is throwing a tantrum over how unfair a patriarchal society is to the very men who created it, and Trump's backward administration is willing to give credence to the complaint.